and welcome back. So one of the things we've really loved since doing this whole thing together is Instagram. This whole thing, our this, show. This whole thing. <laughs> is Instagram. We've met some amazing moms online. Yeah. And I think that we tend to, you know, draw to these moms that we have synergy with, whether it be, you know, yoga or holistic nutrition or just fitness in general or, or parenting tips. Really, yeah. social media is such an incredible way to connect with other women and moms. And we've done that. And today, um, we actually connected with Julie Monahue, and you may be familiar with her, I'm sure you are, but she's, to give you a background, um, she's a certified holistic health counselor, a certified yoga instructor, she's a mom of four, which we uh, love, and she's also one of the leading ladies on the Bravo hit series, Ladies of London. So welcome, Julie. Hi. How are you? Hello. Thank Hello you. from London. I know. <laughs> Thank you so much. What time is it there right now? It is, it's 10 past seven. Oh, 10 past seven. In you're the so evening. sweet to be doing this with us right now. <laughs> yeah, we really appreciate it. So, oh, oh, thank you for having me. So Vanessa had mentioned, obviously, one of the biggest things that we saw instantly through on your Instagram is your, your love for fitness and plant-based diets. Can you tell us how you got into that? Yeah, do you know, I really got into it um, about, probably about seven years ago. Um, my husband became ill. That was kind of the catalyst. And, you know, when somebody that you love so much becomes ill, you want to nurse them back to health. Mm -hmm. And think about it. That was seven years ago. So my youngest was two. And then I had these four little kids at home. And, and I also needed to do something for me. So I was like, okay, wait, maybe food can be my medicine as well as my husband's. And maybe food can then be my children's medicine too. So I got really into it for on one level because I thought, he's unwell, I can hopefully help him. But secretly and quite selfishly, I thought, okay, I need energy. I'm a mom of four. And you know, at that time they were two, four, seven, and nine. And I was like, I need energy and I can't be relying on cups and, um, you know, limitless um, amounts of coffee and, and all the bad stuff, right? right? All the nasty <laughs> sugars, so right? Really that we do. We're talking yeah, about so mom fuel. Really how it came to be. Yeah, and we, as moms, we absolutely relate to that. And we definitely fueled ourselves with coffee. But, oh, my goodness, it's so much better to be eating healthy food and, like, you know, be fit. And so you have this incredible, you created a business around this. And you have this fantastic website where you have um, videos, you teach, you have recipes, you have a course. So how did you get that all started? You know, it really happened, I have to say, completely and utterly organically. Like, people ask me all the time, they're like, did you have a business plan? I'm like, no, there was, like, no business plan. But I became so passionate about it. And after I became, you know, I studied um, nutrition, and then I became a yoga instructor. And I really, I mean, honest to God, started at the bottom. So I rented two church halls um, in the local area where we live in London, I went around with my two year old and he was in his, um, push chair or his, um, what do you call it in America? Stroller. There is a stroller or buggy. Stroller. <laughs> stroller. My gosh, I'd forgotten. Do you know what I mean? So, so, long. so I had him in his stroller and my husband made flyers and it was just like, I'm teaching twice a week at these church halls. And I would literally pray and cross my fingers that somebody would show up and, you know, pay the 10 quid or the 10 pounds, whatever it was to go to my yoga class. And I did that for a year and a half. And then really what happened, to be honest, is I got a phone call one day from a yoga studio in London. And they're like, we've heard about you in your church halls. I'm like, what? And I remember <laughs> thinking it was the most exciting thing ever that like this big yoga studio in London had heard about my teaching. And they're like, we want you to come and trial. And so I trialed and I ended up getting obviously classes there. And then through my classes, what I did, and again, it was very organic, as I noticed that people were asking me a lot of questions after the class about healthy eating. And so I started bringing recipes to class and be like, okay, here's my green glow smoothie, or here's my chia seed pudding, or here's my buckwheat risotto. And people really were like, wanting to know more, like what are chia seeds? What, what, what's so good about buckwheat? What's good about, you know, turmeric? And I was bringing recipes. And from that, then I started really building the blog and putting the recipes on the blog. And then, um, and then my husband and I really thought about it. And we said, well, listen, there's all these people who want to learn about nutrition and I don't have the time to sit with each of them one on one. So we then decided to create a very inexpensive online nutrition course that really gives you you know, much more than the basics. Like it makes you understand like why are green leafy vegetables good for you? Like why is spinach good for you? So that's 
how it really, how it snowballed. And that, that's fantastic. You, so on top of your website, you've, already, you've also written some books as well, which the latest was, it's called Superfoods. Is that correct? Well, no, I've got, yes, that's my first one. And then I have, weirdly, I have two coming out. One in this year, in 2016. So one hits the bookshelves um, in about two weeks' time. It hits March 8th. And that's with an amazing publisher called Hay House. So if you know, like, Gabby Bernstein or Chris Carr. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah, that's their same publisher. And then I have the follow-up to Superfoods coming out in July, which is a, a different publisher, and that's called Superfoods Super Fast. And I think you guys will like this being busy moms, but that's 100 um, energizing recipes in 20 minutes or less. Amen, you, right? You're, you're amazing. I got to tell you all this. <laughs> this so, it, it, so the books really happened because, um, because of the blog. The blog became popular and that's how I got my first book deal and then the rest have just fallen in line so um yeah a lot of hard work well I think you're hitting it right in the button I think that there's a lot of moms out there that aspire to be healthy themselves but then somehow fit it into their lives with their family and just don't know how yeah. yet alone to make it quick and easy right and so you're really you know getting it right there with with being able to provide that Okay, so can we ask you, because like you're doing so many things, you're, you're on the show Ladies of London, you have this fantastic business, you have the Jub Food line, which is, you know, looks amazing, and you're also um, royalty, right? <laughs> well, I, mean. know. I know, it's so funny to use that word, it's royalty, because I, I think in like, you know, over in, in a good old North America, in America, they, it, it would be like, people are like, oh my God, you're part of royalty, but so yes, I guess if you were to make that definition on um, the other side of the pond, but over here, it would be, we call it more of um, aristocracy. Okay. okay. So I'm part of aristocracy, if I was going to use the correct term, but okay. America, okay. in particular, Bravo really likes to use the term royalty. Well, we enjoy it. We enjoy it. <laughs> we love you on the show, ladies of London, and we know you have your hands full with all that you're doing. So you're also involved with Mapperton as well, right? With your husband? Yes. Yeah. 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 So you, you've got a lot going on. So what is the key to balance? Can you yeah. tell, please tell so us? This is the end of our interview here. Can you tell us how you're doing it all? <laughs> so the key to balance, I mean, honestly, I would say the key to balance is A, you've got to find something that you love for yourself. If you're always taking care of your husband and your kids, and even if you have to be in a job that you necessarily don't like, but you have to do it for, for you know, obviously for financial reasons, find those something that you love because it, it, it makes you happier in all the other aspects of your life. So whether it's yoga, whether it's cycling, you know, whether it's healthy eating, you find your passion and then it just, it makes balance so much easier. Okay, well, you know what? You are totally inspiring. And if people want to learn more about Julie Montague and all that she's doing, her the Flexi Foodie, the nutritional courses, the yoga, you can check out her website at juliemontague.com. Thank you so much Thank for chatting so with us much. today. Thank you guys. See Thank you. you.